Uh, first thing we learn uh, chapter one. Okay, graph of B against T. Okay, what is this graph? This is increase. Okay, increase linearly. So increase linearly. Okay, so this is velocity. So this is initial velocity. Alat jawab. Okay, from V T graph, gradient of the graph, the kecerunan, gradient. Okay, let's say we take V over here. So V minus U. Okay, this is Y axis and this is divided by T. So this is acceleration. Okay, so acceleration rearrange A equal to V minus U over T. So if you rearrange V equal to U plus A T. So this is the first equation. Okay, first equation is Radian of Vt graph Radian of Vt graph Ok, then We have Area under the graph Area under the graph is over here Ok, what is this? Area under the graph Area under the graph is Displacement Ok Okay, how to calculate area under this graph? The shape is one. One apa dia? This is apa? Trapezium. Okay, so how you calculate? A B. A B. So A is U, B is B. Times D. Okay, so this is displacement. So S equal to U plus V T So this is the second equation Okay Any problem? Okay now What you do The third step You substitute 1 into 2 The whole is V Substitute over here so now you have S equal to half U plus so U plus A T T Okay, simplify Okay, so you get U T plus half A T square So this is third equation so if you are given acceleration, you use this equation. Okay, usually this equation is rarely used. Jarang kita guna. Sebab tak ada A. So you have A, you use this equation. Okay. Last equation. How you rearrange? Last equation. Okay, we rearrange equation 1. This one. You rearrange equation 1, so you have V over there no problem, so V minus U equal to AT ok, from here ok, then we rearrange uh, equation 2 as well equation 2, you have U plus V this one V plus U pun sama lah so, become V plus U equal to 2S over T ok, from equation 2 Okay, then you solve this two. Using conjugates Okay, so you get V square, U square Equal to 2 E S Okay, T and T Settle So V equal to, break it here Okay, so this is equation so again, we start from linear graph B against T The gradient of the graph is acceleration Area under the graph is displacement Okay, then you combine equation 1 and equation 2 You substitute, you get equation 3 You rearrange equation 1 and equation 2 Become like this Then you get equation 4 So again, up to you You want to use the context method ke? You want to use this